In this section, we are going to look at understanding regression with the help of linear regression. And then we'll see how linear regression works. We'll use linear regression to predict salaries after college. Next, we'll go into logistic regression. We'll use logistic regression to understand the classification problem. Next, we'll see an example of predicting treatment cases using logistic regression. So let's get started. On understand regression with linear regression, we are going to look at what is linear regression and what is a linear model. Linear regression is one of the most basic and most commonly used type of predictive analytics tool. It is so widely used that you will be using it at least. Linear regression is the most basic and very commonly used type of predictive analytics tool. Linear regression also helps us find out if a set of predicted variables does a good job in predicting an output. So if you have a set of x and y and we use linear regression, we can understand how good is x in predicting the y. Let's try to understand linear regression with the help of an example. Suppose you want to predict the weight of a person based on his height. So what you do is create a data set of different individual heights and the respective weights. Let's say the data set consists of only two people. The first one has a height of 185 and a weight of 241 pounds. The second one has a height of 172 centimeter and a weight of 162 pounds. Similarly, you create a wide range of data set. Now, if there is a new person introduced into the class and you want to predict this person's weight, you can assume that his weight will be somewhere close to 174 and you can predict the weight somewhere to be close to this number. So the first set of data set which has the weight values is called the training data set which has the height and the corresponding weight. We'll use this data set to train our model and then pass it the test data set in which we have the individual heights but not the weights and make prediction for the weights using the test data set. This type of problem is called a regression problem. A way to understand a regression problem is that it is always real valued output. And this is how the model works. You have the training set, you pass it to the learning algorithm and it gives out a hypothesis function which when supplied a new height predicts a certain weight. So our task is to learn this hypothesis function. Let's say our data set looks like this. Here, we have the height on the x-axis and weight on the y-axis. And for a given set of height, these are the corresponding weights. From this graph, we can see that the relation between weight and height is pretty linear. So let's say if we want to predict weight of a person at this point, we can do this. And if you want to predict somewhere, let's say here, we'll assume that it'll be somewhere here on the weight scale. So what we do is, we try to fit a line. This line now represents all the points where we can estimate the weight for a given height. And we represent it using the equation of a line, B0 plus B1 into X1, or in our case, B0 plus B1 into height since height is our x1 or the feature. If the line crosses through the origin, we'll have b0 value as 0 and the line is entirely represented by b1 into height. But as you can see, this is not the perfect fit because there are a few points that the line could have covered if it would have not started at the origin. 
and you are getting a huge distance between certain points and the line. So what this line is basically saying that at a given height, where we know what the weight should be, this is the weight that the line is estimating. And it is different from the actual weight at this point. So we get a error represented by this blue line. Next, let's say we make the slope of the line zero. So we get a flat line, which has huge errors. So our task is to find the perfect fit so that we can reduce these errors between the actual weight and the predicted weight. And to quantify this error, we use the sum of the actual value minus the predicted value. But if we did that, it would have normalized the positive and the negative values. So instead, we take the sum of all the squared errors, which is the actual value minus the predicted value squared. This is also known as a cost function j called as the ordinary least square error. In this video, we got an introduction to a regression problem and also some idea about linear regression. In the next video, we'll see understanding how linear regression works. So I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.